Hello. In the first video, I discussed about the some of the productivity challenges faced by the current BizTalk community. And that basically came out of the survey we did with about 200 people. There are five big challenges identified by the community and we listed them, all of them. And if you haven't watched the video, I'll highly recommend you to take a look at it. It's about 10 to 11 minutes and it goes in depth about all the challenges uh, right now faced by the Bista community. At the end of the video, I promised like uh, we are trying to do something about it and we are trying to address uh, some of the productivity challenges, whatever we can from uh, from a Vista 360 as a company perspective. Of course, we are not uh, Microsoft and we cannot solve all the problems highlighted by the, uh, by the community. But we are trying to work out whatever we can do uh, from, from our, within our reach. We are going to put something called a Bistock Productivity Suit. It's going to be a combination of few things which you will know in the, uh, by, by this week uh, what are our plans to uh, do it. One other thing we are going to do as part of the suit is uh, some of you might know like a few months ago we released something called Bistock NOS Ultimate. The objective of the tool is to give some productivity around developer uh, stuff. And of course, you know, there is no point talking about a commercial product and then, you know, like uh, giving something back to the community. It doesn't make sense. Of course, we don't want to sound like a, like one of this marketing pitch. Uh, genuinely, we wanted to give something back to the community. So what we had decided is to give away like a bunch of licenses, not one or two, quite a few of them. So we are thinking in the range of 50 to 75 licenses to be given out completely free. It's a fully functioning commercial version of the product, but we will want, we wanted to give it give it back, you know, like uh, whoever participated in the survey. And we have some bunch of uh, criteria of how we are going to uh, give away the tool, but we are going to give it, it absolutely free to the, to the people. So, I thought it will be a good idea to just to give you like a very, very quick uh, intro to what Bistock NOS Ultimate is and how it can solve some of the productivity challenges. And that will give you a hint of, you know, like uh, some of the pain points what the Bistock customers are facing for a, for a while in terms of Bistock development, how we are trying to, uh, trying to address it. And as I mentioned, we are going to give it completely free. So just, you know, follow us this week and we are going to put down some uh, bunch of items and Bistock NOS is top of the list. And you probably know like it's costing around $499 on the website, but we are going to give it absolutely free. Uh, there is no second thought about it. So today I'll just go through uh, some of the stuff, uh, what you can do with uh, Bistock NOS. Hi, let's take a quick look at what Bistock NOS Ultimate can do for you. So it's already installed, you can see there are a bunch of icons. And this is a classic uh, Bistock project. There are 13 projects and imagine like uh, you are a consultant and you're trying to open a customer project and somebody gave you a project like this and you wanted to, you know, like uh, analyze it. The standard tooling is pretty bad. So for example, you can look at the Bistock orchestration and you open it up and there are, you know, it's a, it's a relatively complex orchestration. And for you to, you know, like uh, take a look at it, you know, what does this decide say? What is inside each one of these rules? And uh, where are the persistent points? It's, this designer is not giving you anything. So what we have done with the Bistock NOS is uh, we have a bunch of features. And one of the feature is, uh, let's go to this Bistock uh, NOS reporting and say a reflector. And this one, you can see it just opened up and it's giving more details about this uh, orchestration. So all this, you know, there are interesting stuff. For example, these ones, the bombs are basically, you know, the, the, the persistent points it's, you're going to hit. And as you probably know, like you need to be very careful about the Bistock persistent points. The more you have, you are going to go through the round trip to the Bistock uh, message boxes uh, uh, for uh, uh, quite frequently. There are also a lot of interesting stuff. For example, it shows you all the maps and all the schemas that's been used. And uh, this is an interesting thing. Like it's almost like reading your code. For example, this decision shape. Okay, there is a decision shape. And you can see what are the rules. For example, you know, the field two equal to A, and then you know, field two equal to B, and field two equal to C, etc. So it's easy for you to for you to follow up. 
And if you have noticed at the top, we also give you some some statistics about this orchestration. You know, what is the average complexity? Like, is there an exception handling available in the in this particular orchestration? Like, you know, what is the average global cost? And you know, looking at the size of the file will give you some hint. You know, this is about 800 KB files. Looks like a like something big. And this is also interactive. Like, for example, you know, you can click on this one to see like. Uh, what is that schema that you know like you can go back and you click on uh, the various things like uh, to for you to take a navigate between all these artifacts in a in a much much uh, much much easier way so this you can see it's, it's it's a one clear you know productivity improvement when you are doing development and especially when you have like a bigger uh, uh, so bigger solution and bigger orchestration this will help you out the other thing we want to show you is this uh, dynamic navigation uh, of this orchestration. So we just open this orchestration and see what's happening. So you can click on that one and this gives you like, you know, the tree view structure of what are the things that's present. For example, the messages, the construct shapes and, you know, the, the schemas. You can actually, you know, you can drill down and say you can open the transform and that shows, you know, what are the schemas that's been referenced in this orchestration. Sorry, in the in the in this particular uh, particular transform. So this is incredibly uh, useful uh, when you want to you know, want to uh, take a look at it. So these are you know like a very quick overview. Of course, I'm not going to explain the entire NOS product uh, in this video. So this is just to give you an idea of you know what you can do with this stuff NOS and you don't like the the stuff you can uh, that will help you to improve the productivity. And we want you to, you know, just to download it and try it for yourself. It's very simple. You just go to Tools, Extensions and Updates, and you just search for uh, Bistock NOS Ultimate. It's available in Visual Studio Gallery, and you can download it and use it. And as, as we promised, we're going to give away 50 to 75 licenses of Bistock NOS Ultimate for free. But for the first step, you just need to, you know, download it and try it yourself. Thank you very much.